Buenos dias, fellow champions around the world. Uh, Sean Fury here with you today. Happy Monday. Got the sun back. Uh, I saw a really great post, Facebook poster recently that said, what a lovely winter we're having this spring. And I couldn't help but laugh at that because it's been extremely like winterish here in Maine for quite a while now. I was beginning to think that climate change had abolished all uh, springtime activities. Anyways, the uh, reason I'm here today is to talk to you in a very brief video, hopefully, about the whole program in a nutshell. Okay, so do me a favor and watch this one all the way to the end. Number one, individuals like you are affected by the social environment. Okay, affected by the social environment in which you are living in which you are situated whether you're at home or at work or at school or at church or at the playground you're always in a social environment right as long as there's other people there at least and uh, that's similar to an analogy of a plant right if you have a plant at home what is it situated in a pot probably on your windowsill and that pot has soil in it and that soil in which the plant is situated is either nutrient rich or it's not right and even worse it might be toxic right if you were to spray a bunch of uh, bathroom cleaner in there or something what would happen the plant would die right if you were to abuse the or neglect the plant it would not reach its full potential it would not develop to live a flourishing life it would shrivel live a shriveling life it would become toxic ill it would die now in the same way you are being affected by your social environments and by whether or not your social environments are nutrient rich meaning they have uh, nutritious qualities within them, um, such as safety, support, um, access to resources, freedom to act, right? Uh, how about balance, self-care, all those different things on that wheel of well-being that need to be there in order for you, like a plant, to be able to grow and reach your full potential. And so here's the thing, right? These social environments that we are situated in are also affected by us and what we do. Just like the social environment affects the plant, we are also affecting the soil within which we are situated. And that's one of the big things that we have that's different about us than plants. Plants just have to sit there and, you know, hopefully they grow in their soil but if they don't they shrivel and die right but human beings we're situated in this soil and we've got a shovel and some uh, miracle grow here and we can dig the soil around us and put the miracle grow in there and experience that life and aliveness when we are healthy when we are optimally functional and that means that we have a mind that's open uh, emotional centers that are picking up whether or not those qualities are available and uh, we have intuition and perceptions right sensations whenever we have these little connectors open to the world we can tell and those connectors by the way are just like roots on a plant right the plant is connected to the soil through its root system we have a root system too and that's called our senses and our feelings and our thinkings and our um, intuition and our gut that's our gut feelings and when these things are telling us that there's something wrong that means that usually it's in our environment it's toxic and we could be contributing to that without even knowing it right and so this is the third piece I'm gonna read it <coughs> excuse me social environments are more likely to have a positive influence on individuals when they are constructed specifically for that purpose to have a positive influence 
Now, it takes a special person to be able to, to uh, create these kind of miracle growing you know, environments. And that special person is what I call the hero. A hero is someone who is um, an intentionally constructive change agent. They're acting in a way that changes things on purpose for a positive outcome. In this case, nutrient-rich content in their home life, their work life, their school life. And how um, better are they going to be at achieving this goal when they have learned how to build these kind of positive environments, how to protect them. And they're only going to be able to do those two things when they have developed their own change agency. That's their capacity to initiate and sustain a new or different way of doing things in their life, right? Now, when you start to create a new thing, the only thing that's going to determine whether you're successful or not is whether or not you have the knowledge and skills you'll need to be an effective change agent, right? You don't have change agency if you cannot start or complete the task, right? That's not having change agency. And the way you get change agency is by developing situational transformation and resiliency skills. Those are the skills that you'll need to be able to change something for the better and to, once it's established, keep it going in a positive direction to protect it, right? So once you're that plant in that healthy environment with a healthy soil and you're just flourishing in life, people are going to come along and they're going to say, hey, I'd like to take a chance. I'd like to try being the gardener in your life today. I want to move in with you and your kids. And by the way, I'm the world's crappiest gardener. As a matter of fact, everything I do is going to destroy you and your children's entire well-being, your whole life. And you have to be able to say, no, back the frig off, bro. You're not coming in here. You are not qualified to be acting with me and my children because you're going to have a destructive effect on our experiences and on our ability to develop to our full potential as human beings, but also to develop our change agency. Because when people come along like bullies and abusers, what they do is they try to stifle that plant. They put a, a glass ceiling, you know, to borrow from uh, the women's movement kind of idea. They put a glass ceiling that you, you don't know it's there, but it is. And it prevents you from reaching your full potential and also prevents you from being able to use your knowledge and skills in a way that will change things for the better and to keep them going. And so that is why you must develop these skills so that you can feel more comfortable being able to set limits with people and to be assertive. <clears throat> if you want to have what nature intended for you, and that is for you to reach your full potential, to live your best life, and to provide a best life experience for the people in your life. Because we are all working together on this. We are all, you never see, you know, one tree by itself usually. There's always a few other ones around, if not an entire community. We're all connected. We're all also the gardeners that are, you know, shaping our experiences by the way we cultivate our soil. So get out there and, uh, Start to act intentionally. Get trained. <coughs> excuse me again. Get trained in life construction and impact management with me. I can teach you this. And uh, develop your change agency and start rocking this thing called life. And, um, you know, just put as much awesome into that soil around you as you can. And, um, you know, feel good about it because. Once you start experiencing a life worth living, you're never going to want to go back. Okay? Have a great day.